Jason has entered the top secret security vault in search of Alan's files. Little does he realize this area is being patrolled by Bob. Binary Overseer Biped. This robotic terror is in development for use against the vast communist hordes who plan the overthrow of the American way of life. Until that day, this metal titan guards the secrets that keep this country strong. What can I do for you? I may look young, but these aches and pains make me feel ancient, and I'm getting so forgetful. Yesterday I forgot my purse, and last week I left the lights on in my car and had to leave the station to turn them off. I'd lose my ears if they weren't attached. That sounds so nice. But I can't leave my station during working hours unless summoned by a supervisor or security. Back again. Darn it. I'll be right back.
back again. Darn it! I'll be right back. Jason arrives to find that the interior decorator from hell has paid a visit. The apartment is totally trashed. Someone has even slashed a velvet painting. This could take years of careful restoration. Someone was looking for something in a real hurry. The landlord is not going to be happy about this.
thousands of miles away, in a dirty, forgotten village at the edge of the jungle, a tall, fat policeman known as Colonel Sanchez sits behind a desk. Though not officially a colonel, Sanchez uses the title as a sign of his own importance. Even the term policeman is a paradox. There is no law here. The police are no more than legalized criminals who exploit the poor people of this region. Sanchez knows about Jason and Alan. His agents did not get what they needed from Jason's apartment, but soon, Jason would be in Sanchez's country. It will be much easier then. For now, Sanchez impatiently waits for information on Alan's whereabouts. Come in! Huh. The attempt to recover the package has failed. What have you found at the campsite? We have nothing. The men will not go near that place, but we know the brother survived. We will continue the search. He must be found! <laughs>